Brandon Parker back again with another tutorial. Uh, this time this tutorial is going to be uh, masking, which is in, uh, how to mask in Sony Vegas. I'm going to show you a little bit of a video that I did on my, uh, which is a fan video to my favorite team, the New England Patriots. I'm going to show you how I mask in this video a little bit. One mind, one team, one heart, one player through the hole, one goal from the start. Dominate the art of the black and blue and watch the Super Bowl dreams till they all come true. Okay, let me show you how I did that video a little bit. Okay, what I'm gonna do, get right into Sunny Vegas. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to import media, which is for images to mask out and stuff. Okay, I'll show you how to mask out a little bit of this in a little bit. Okay. Okay, right click on it, which is uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Okay, and I'm going to uh, go into video event and a crop. Okay, and I'm going to get the masking tool. Okay, this. And I'm going to get the mask. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. We can ask out what I want. So I'm not just in here. Let's see. Start out going right here. <clears throat> now I won't do this perfect. I'll just show you a little bit of what it will look like when it's messed out. If you want it perfect, make sure you get it closely in there as possible. And I'm not going to do it perfectly this tutorial. I might have to cross over to here. Depending on how the image is. You can also, if you have Photoshop you, and you know how to use it a little bit, you could uh, custom do one in Photoshop already. And you don't have to do any of the masking out in here because it's a little hard uh, to get it perfect here in Sony Vegas. Okay, and I have right there. I'm just going to go all the way to, I'd say, right now. Um, there. Right about there. Okay. Check that. And you'll see now that uh, the image is mass max messed out. And uh okay, then I'm gonna um, okay. close out of this. I'm gonna go to the data. I'm still waiting there. Okay, from the masking. To right, right about here. To right about there. Okay. And you can do whatever you want. Anything on images, you can have it move to whatever. See, right about here, you can have it. 
zoom in a lot more at this time and have it zoom out at this time. And zoom in to here. Have it spin if you want to spin in this direction at this time and in this direction at this time. Okay. And then I'll get a moving image. Okay, go to File, Import. Let's see what this one is. Oh, I'll mask this right here. Split here, cut here. Okay, groups detach audio. Remove from. Okay. Cut that out. Okay, now I'm gonna go to here. Okay. And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. Which is possible. About to see. To right about to right about there. Okay, split that. Okay. All right, and then right here. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Is it the right spot? Okay, split that there. Okay, drag it out there a bit to where you see a lot more. To right about. To right about. there. Okay. Zoom in. Okay. Okay, where did it start at? Okay, start soon. Okay, we're gonna go to the beginning. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay, and then I'm gonna get the masking tool. Check the masking. Get the masking tool. It's already checked. Okay. And you're gonna have to keep doing this for uh, every time you uh, the clip is moving for motion clips. And you're all the way here. Sure. I think edit. I do that. Take a while. what's masked out oh, you can see that the background is black and I'll put a picture in the, in the background just to show you that she's out of that background I'm going to file import media okay and I'm gonna just do anyone like this just to show you that I map the image out okay okay and then I'm gonna put this on the bottom try to add a new drag insert Actually, this has to be on top. This one goes on the bottom. See, now you can see that she's on a different background now. Okay. And what you do is for every time, okay, hold on. We're going to dra drag this to the size. And anything that you want to the size of the video project, which is this HD size, make sure that you right click, go to switches, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Or you do it manually in event pan and crop and resize it there. But uh, I just usually do switches, uncheck, maintain aspect ratio. And it goes to the size. Now you can see her on the background. And uh, if you want it perfect, just make sure that uh, you get right in there perfectly. And she looks like she belongs on this background now. 
and she wasn't there originally. And you keep uh, masking out every time, like, okay, now that I'm gonna go to here, okay, back to proper this image, which is what we masked her out on, okay, back to here. See, you're gonna have to keep doing it every little bit, so. What I say mostly for the masking is uh, try not to get one that's too much movement because it'll be a little difficult to remask it and, and do uh, everything. You don't have to. Okay, there's there's where you reposition that. Make sure that you have the this uh, normal edit tool on when you want to move these uh, around a little bit so you can play around with them. And move them around a little bit and you, and you do that every time you want uh, the image uh, every time it's moving okay so every time it's moving see here her face is cl closed in a little bit you have to drag this out and it's gonna take a little bit of a while to do it make sure you grab the uh, little boxes or the marker sections and every time she keeps moving her head okay Let's see, she moves her head more here, here, here. Anytime she gets outside of the masking, her face is outside. As long as her face is inside, you don't really have to do it. Like, let's go all the way back to here. It's moving there, there, okay, there, 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 there. Her hair, so I'd have to move it to here, okay. Okay. And I move this back some, and this back a lot more. Okay. Okay. And then I'd also, because you can see that a little bit, you want that to be perfect. So in a lot more there. Bring this in a lot more. Okay. It's going to take a little bit of a while if you want this to be perfect. I'm not doing it perfectly for this tutorial. And you're going to have to bring like... Okay, make sure I'm on this. And I'd have to bring this in a little bit to uh, get down and leave out those uh, open gaps a little bit. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in again, bring it in again to here, okay, bring it in again to there, okay, and you just keep doing that for every time uh, you, you'll see anything outside of her, her head, her face, or whatever. And it, it takes time, it'll, it'll probably take you a good while to do this, it could probably take you up to an hour or so to get it perfectly if you want to mask out really perfect, you're going to have to move it around. A little bit and just make sure that every time you want to move uh, each uh, point or whatever to get him to stay uh, keep her inside the mask and keep her hair you know everything perfect make sure that uh, you select this to move the points and to start out your masking you select the masking uh, pen tool you s plot your points then after that to move them around you select this button or this uh, whatever select the normal edit tool this will let you move it around a little bit and these will be your points just like anything that you do with the event pan and crop this is where you're uh, masking and where it's gonna happen and everything and that's pretty much how you do masking and, and whatnot on, on, on moving clips or whatever and how you could pit uh, and, and to show you I put a different background show you that I masked her out of the original background and it looks pretty cool and everything and it's a lot easier if you have something like Final Cut. I, I've done this in Final Cut and I've noticed it to be a lot easier, but it's pretty neat doing it in Sony Vegas as well. If you know how to do it, it'll just take you a lot more time to do it in Sony Vegas because uh, Sony Vegas is a totally different editing program. So that's it. And I'll show you a little bit of how it looks with both images. Let's go to this section right here. Highlight it. This section. Okay. Shift B. Okay. And you can see that she's off a little bit because uh, the I, I'd have to uh, get down in there and spend a lot more time to get it perfect. That's pretty much how uh, it looks like when it's uh, event pan and cropped and everything.
and that looks pretty neat. And the image, uh, like the ending here, I'd say, just the ending, could, should cut that out, okay? And if you want it to be a lot longer, oops, edit, 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 undo the cut out, split it out, and then it'll be perfect. Okay. A little bit right there. Okay. Now I'd, I'd have to get rid of that the, the the clip. I'd have to get down in there and cut out so it doesn't really look funny right there. But you get the the picture a little bit. You're gonna have to spend a lot of time to get it perfectly, and I'm not gonna. Uh, mess around a lot with it I'm Trying to get it perfect for this tutorial. I'm just showing you how to do it a little bit You can spend a lot more time with the masking and everything in Sony Vegas So comment rate subscribe and uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you got what you're looking for and uh, If you have a tutorial tutorial request or whatever, let me know. I'll do that for you Just ask me what kind of tutorial you want to see and uh, subscribe to my fan video channel Which is fantastic art. I do fan videos in Final Cut and you can also subscribe to my other channel, which is uh, Spinock, where I do uh, spoofs, video editing with the special effects and everything, and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to start doing parodies and stuff like that on that channel, it's Spinock. And you can go to my website, which is uh, pixelpocketmedia.com, where I'm uh, uh, doing a lot of stuff. Of, of, uh, I got like YouTube backgrounds I'm going to be uploading there. I got uh, like uh, different videos that I've done here on YouTube I'm going to be uploading there and whatever. And stuff like that and uh, songs you can download and everything I've done with beats and everything for uh, MySpace and for uh, that I've showed a little bit here on this account. Comment, rate, subscribe and see you in my next tutorial.